Hi, in this video, we will see how we are able to get the information of all the systems which are geared more in detail with the help of CAN establishment that we have done for the setup. So if you see here that we have various different uh, CAN IDs, uh, which are coming from different subsystems. So the first two CAN IDs are for the battery management system. So you can see here that there is a data of the SOC coming out, and there is a data of the BMS uh, temperature measurements coming out here. Then we have a control panel uh, that is having various different parameters, maybe the door switch, key switch, all the different uh, PND modes. Everything is available here for you as a part of the controls. Control panel. Then we also have a data coming from our uh, the MCU, so various different parameters, and we also have a data continued from the MCU as well. So let me just show you a quick idea of what parameters get changed here, right? So if I have a drive system, so let's say which is uh, here, uh, we have the complete control panel, right? So if I vary anything here, so we will be able to see the changes in our CAN ID that is uh, 201, and uh, we'll be also able to see that is 0 to 2, sorry, 201 as a CAN ID. So let's say I'm varying the battery SOC, which is here through my uh, slender input, so we can clearly see the variation in the SOC, which is here, for example, uh, at this place, right? So we also have the option where I can say uh, the brake buttons. So when I press the brake button, I could see the lights being in function. Also, you would see the brake uh, ID becoming zero to one. Then we have the options like reverse mode. So we have a reverse scenario. And then we have the option to go from uh, parking to drive. Uh, drive to parking, and we also have the situation of changing the modes. Uh, so everything is coming here that gives you an idea. And if I say the the door switch, which has been implemented here, is also coming there. And also we have an HVI which I was telling about getting the high voltage uh, interlock being triggered in place. So similarly, we can also see a lot of data coming from these two uh, CAN IDs. So which is CAN ID 0222 and 023. So where we are able to see like the motor error, hall error, or throttle error, or different different type of error conditions, and also the mode situation that have been here, and then we have the parameters of specific information of the motor and other temperatures also. So if I say that the vehicle is now in the drive condition, which we can see here, which is also be visible, and uh, which I can just change the mode to different different modes, like echo or uh, different conditions. So when, when we drive the motor, which is from this condition, so you can easily see that uh, the motor RPM is changing, the motor voltage is changing, motor current is getting changed. So in this way, if there is any errors, we use here. Uh, also, the total value which has been coming here. So it gives you an idea that you know what is all happening in the system. Uh, with the help of CAN and the CAN messages, so that people can diagnose the systems in place. And also, they get to understand how is the system is behaving for given inputs in place, or whether the, my inputs are going to the, uh, the motor controller, or my inputs are going to any different systems in place. Mm -hmm. So this is how it is. We call this as a black box uh, for the VCU development. And uh, with the help of this, you, you, you can do all of these uh, different, different conditions of testing, and then learn the things out of this. We also have a possible future option where you can say as a white box solution. So where you can write your own uh, software for the VCU uh, that is completely on a MATLAB based. You can also uh, change motor, you can change your motor controller, like that you can integrate its own CAN IDs with the uh, VCU. We can like, you know, upgrade the video for different voltage architectures and things like that. In this way, the overall setup gives the very broad picture for somebody to uh, gain the idea of perspective of integration of VCU and studying all this system behavior with respect to the help of uh, CAN communication system in place. So that's a quick overview of what's existed as the uh, deeper information of the VCU setup. Thank you.